sorry, do you know that we've been waiting like 25 minutes for this food? Huh? We've waited like 25 minutes for this food. What do you want me to do? I don't know, like, like work fast. Some stuff. free juice or something. Yeah, like give us some free food or something. Happy manager. I'm new employee. It's no, but like, no, no, but we expect something free. Here, the food please. for free or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, give yeah. us some free food. <laughs> You must think it's a joke. You want this food for free? What do you think this is? <laughs> Charity. <laughs> Take your food, please. I don't have time. I don't have time. We've been waiting for the food for like 25 minutes. 25 minutes, you I don't know. care. You can be waiting for 10 hours. I don't care. You oh, you don't care? Yeah, we can tell that you don't care. Yeah, well, don't you don't care. Do you know what yeah, customer yeah, service is? Do you know what customer service is? Do you know what customer service is? Zoom in on his face. What is he doing? You think you want to be paying guys with me? Wow, McDonald's. What? UK what? McDonald's. This is this is where happened. Right. You, want, you want your burger? You want your burger? Collect it. Collect it. I don't care. Collect it. Not that boy funny as hell, ah ha ha ha. Bruh said you must think this is a charity. This gotta be the first time ever that the person recording is the Karen. He's right, man. He can't do anything about the fact that they had to wait 25 minutes for their food. I don't know what took so long, but it's not like he can freeze time or time travel to help them out. They should have just taken the food and gone about their day. Bro, on the other hand, has to wait a couple more hours before he can clock out and leave that place, and I don't know why they expected free food for their wait. At least Bro tried to be nice and asked them to just take the food and that he had no time. But then they kept with the immature antics, so he did something immature as well. But it was funny on his part. Bro said, collect it, like it was a coin in a video game. Look, 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 look. It's a f***ing, like, level 49 Karen. That is a f***ing high-level Karen right there. Look at that hair, it's like super sane. Bro, of course we gotta start with a max level, Karen, so early on in the video, she's got the cut and all, bro, it's over for her. After doing some research, I found out that the Karen hairstyle most resembles a long-layered pixie cut, who is recommending these elderly women to obtain this cut. It's gotta be some sort of cult ritual of acceptance, or something like that. Ha 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 ha, bro. And she really do look like a super saiyan Karen. You know that you're on the wrong Get side. Get out of my car. You're on the wrong side of the road. Okay, you're being filmed. Do you know that you're on the wrong... Do you think you're on the wrong side of the road? You're on the wrong side of the road. This is not Europe. You drive on the right side. Get out of my face, please. Get, the cops are coming. Great. Get out of my face. You're on the wrong side of the road. Do Get, you know that you're on the wrong side of the road? Do you know that you're on the wrong side of the road? Please back away from Why my car. Why are you on this side of the road? Can you please back away from my car? Why are you on this side of the road? I was backing up. You're going to get a ticket. Okay. For driving I, on the wrong great. Side I was of the road. backing out of this space. You're on the wrong side of the road. How do you want You're on okay. the wrong side of the road. Okay. Okay. You cannot drive on this side of the road. <laughs> okay. Why, why are you don't, laughing? Don't touch my. my why are you laughing? There's so many charges that could have came from this. Assault, disorderly conduct, battery if there was physical contact, and vandalism if the truck was damaged when she swung the door open. Me, personally, I ain't letting her old ass swing my door open like that like she was the one paying for it. I would have had it locked. And what was her problem anyway? The narrator for the Unplugged channel said that the man in the video was just trying to fix his parking. So what was the genuine issue? Bro, I would be rich as hell if I had a dollar for every time she said, you're on the wrong side of the road. Ha 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 ha. But I know what her problem is. She ain't shut enough businesses down and filed a complaint on enough people to meet her Karen quota at the end of the month. So now she's trying to get whatever she can get and attack everyone in sight. Ha ha ha. Karen quota? That's gotta be a new term we use on these Karen videos from now on. By the rates that these Karens are going at it, I would say that the quota is hella high right now. Viewers, let's play a little game with the next clip. It's called Guess the Charge. So I want y'all to guess the charges that the Karen should face. We're also gonna rank the Karen from 1 to 10 on how Karen likes she is. So this Karen really drove by to investigate what they were doing and went back home to grab the wire cutters and came back to do this. Now that's a dedicated Karen man. Hello, my if you viewers guessed the charge possibilities to be assault, reckless endangerment, vandalism, or trespassing, you guessed correctly. If a worker could have been injured, 
then it's assault. She's damaging property that doesn't belong to her, which is vandalism. And I know she doesn't have a permit to be there while they're working, so that's trespassing as well. I'm glad that person was recording so the police could chase her ass down and arrest her. These Karens gotta realize that there are consequences to their actions and that they aren't entitled to the world and everything in it. And this is definitely an 8 out of 10 on the Karenometer because she went to extreme measures to try and get her way. It's a family home. Oh, it's a family home. Yeah, it is okay. a family home. Yeah. Okay, it's good to know. Yeah, it's a family yeah. home. Okay. But also, what, what, was, the, your family? what was the thing about Florida, when there was a swim shorts over there? What was the problem? Do I need to be staring at underwear? Well, why are you looking shorts? at the house, though? Why what? It's well, outside well, her window, man. Why am I yeah. looking at the house? I eat dinner right there staring yeah, at underwear. Look, look at the other house. Yeah. Wrong answer. You're telling okay. me to look somewhere else Listen. when I've lived here longer okay. than you guys? But no, now I, I'm Do pissed. I look at your now house? I'm pissed. No, do I look at your house? You know though? what? You guys, you guys never come outside. You do. You never. Well, yeah, like, when you guys, we when we're going to bed and my son's outside saying you guys Just are out there talking, and shit, I told him to okay? say, shut up. This is this and is a private neighborhood. He can keep okay. recording it. Yeah, I am recording it. Because you know what? Now I'm calling the cops. There's a lot of people you're pissing off. Okay. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me, there's a lot of people who no, pissing off. Now you piss me off. So no, I'm sorry. No, I you just wanted to ask you about what was going on. Sheesh, man. I forgot that the male version of a Karen is a Kevin. There's a simple solution to their little issue. Just close the damn curtains or blinds on the window or literally turn their bodies around 180 degrees and not face whatever they didn't like witnessing. Originally, I thought that they were swimming in the pool and the Karen and Kevin happened to notice them and walked out to complain about them having family fun pool time. But it was their swim shorts that they saw set out to dry in the sun. I don't see the problem with that or why they had a whole hissy fit about it they're definitely terrible parents and no i'm not just projecting y'all saw how the karen told her 10 year old son to tell the woman to shut up when she was simply talking to him that would cause the kid to have no respect for authority but his own parents and he would think he could talk to anyone in any way and the kevin in the beginning telling them to go back to where they came from shameful bruh and the city's going to check if you had a permit. That's great. My husband that's works wonderful. for the fire department, and when that's I get back... That's great. If we have a fire, we'll give you a call. But you're also trespassing on his property now, right where he's standing, we right we that, that guy in the in the hoodie. Is it gate? No, but it goes... No, 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 but it goes... We appreciate your concern. We'll move right there. Thank you so much for your concern. Have a great day. No, 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 no. I'm going to have a great day, but you know what? There's something about Karens that just grinds my gears, man. Imagine you're just minding your fucking business, and some random ass old lady you ain't never seen before shows up and shits on you for literally nothing. That's gotta be the most annoying experience in the world. Damn, Jack, you really despise Karens with every ounce of your mind, body, and soul. Hush, ha, ha. I don't know what got her so pressed about property that belongs to someone else anyway. The man clearly didn't mind them shooting a music video or else he would have kicked them off a while ago. All those dudes in the background are funny as hell. She said that her husband worked for the fire department, and one of them said, if we have a fire, we'll give you a call. Ah, ha, ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. Do you? I don't want to... Where's your mask? I don't... It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. I want whatever judge I'm not you interested in going to the hospital and... ...because of you. Back up. I'm done. Can you please get what you're getting so I can finish grocery shopping? As soon as you back up... Might do you some good to go do some other shopping and maybe by the time you get back here, you, you'll have plenty of room. Back up. I need security. We're, we're just standing here. We're trying to get through the aisle. She won't let us through. I'm not, look, there's a six foot law and they're trying to get within my six foot range and I'm not going to let them do it till I'm done I selecting what I want to select. Them. You can't let them buy? No, I can't because they get within my six foot when they go by. No, I can't. They can either back up or they can go do some other shopping and come back when I'm done. Okay. I'll go do that. You ain't doing nothing but confronting me, all right? You're the aggressive here, not me. We were literally just trying to go down the aisle. Like I said, there's a six-foot law. You ain't literally trying to do nothing but make me sit and go to the hospital. I'm fully vaccinated if that makes you feel better. It's irrelevant because it mutated, honey. Don't act like you're stupid. You know exactly what you're doing. Ma'am. What? If you want everybody to stay away from me, that's fine. Okay, I'm not allowed to tell you something. Okay? I didn't no 
Okay. Yeah, they're gonna you. You think that's polite? They're not gonna you. If they got some kind of COVID, that's you. Sweetie, sweetie, why aren't you wearing a mask? Because don't worry. Because I've been vaccinated, but it's irrelevant because the COVID mutated. Right, right. So Honey. I can still get it. Honey. I just want people to back up. Well, sweetheart, don't cuss them and be polite and let them shop. Go stand in the middle of the aisle. Get over. When I'm done selecting what I want to select, they can get back. You need to move over this is not six feet. You need to move over so our other customers can get back. Woman, you, you want to go to jail today? You want to come back to your you want to go to jail today? Excuse me. You're the one that grabbed a hold of my car. I moved your car like I asked you to move. Now, will you please get out of the middle of the aisle? You're fired. Help, I'm wrong. You don't know who you're dealing with. I'm going to get my boss right now. You're fired. She really thought she had the authority to block off an entire aisle with no consequence just because they would have to get closer than six feet from her. Wild as hell, bro. The six foot social distancing thing was not a mandate or a law or something like that. It was just a recommendation by the CDC and it's 2024. I get that there's still sickness around and we all should still be careful, but damn. Yeah, her ass is definitely taking that shit way too seriously. <laughs> I haven't even seen a social distancing sign since like 2021. She acting like if they breathe in her direction that somehow billions of germs are going to be infiltrating her systems and compromising her health. Does this happen to people when they get to a certain age? Genuine question. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all and the viewers. This might sound wild, but if I was in that situation, I'm bulldozing through her like I'm the running back Emmett Smith trying to set an NFL record, LA Mayo. And she really said, you're fired like she owned the establishment, like she was the damn manager, like she was the founder of the company. Oh my God, now she's ganging up on me. Wait, you're his mother, so you're the reason for his atrocious behavior? You never told him when all these teachers, when all these teachers called you and said your kid needs to shut up in class? You were like, it's okay, Jeffrey. You and Eleanor for the f you want. Do I feel good? I feel like an appropriately raised individual because my mom had ethics. Man, if only you got this upset with your children and then this stuff wouldn't happen. There's a sacred unspoken rule followed at stand-up comedy events, and it's to never, never go after a comedian as a heckler. It never ends well, bro. Tragic. Remember that one Karen earlier in the video that told her son to tell the neighbors to shut up? This heckler gotta be her best friend or something, man. They're both indoctrinating their sons to disregard respect for others and believe that everyone has to bend over backwards for them. Pause. And the sad part is the comedian is right. If she or the boy's father disciplined him properly, then there wouldn't be any issues. This has been the wildest compilation of Karens that we've ever watched. Well, of course, since we only did two other videos on them, but still. I agree. I just hope that people learned from this to not overreact to situations like these and just stay safe out there. But we do have a major request for you viewers. We're trying something new for a video in the very near future. Yeah, where we comment on and go over the wildest stories and confessions that you guys send us through a Google form. We're excited to make that video. So in the video description below, there will be a link to the Google Forms where you can submit your stories and such. We can't wait to read them. And come back because the previous video just popped up on the screen. It's where we watch some of the dumbest cheaters getting caught on camera, so be sure to click it. We can't wait to see you there. So say what's up to us when you do. Peace.